This is Twit. Well, my app is a little bit different because, quite frankly, everything that I tried to suggest, you all have already reviewed and demoed, made it really, yeah. really, it's, really it's hard. Well, there have been a lot of shows. It's very hard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but I do have another app, and it's Live ATC. And this is one of my favorite apps because I love airplanes, and I love um, going to different airports. And I love listening to all of the chatter on the uh, squawk from the uh, air traffic control people. And how I like to use this, um, it was really popular for me back when I was living on the East Coast in the summertime. We would have all of the storms, the tornadoes and stuff coming in. So it was fascinating to fire up live ATC and search for the Charlotte airport. And listen to the channel to to see how they're guiding all of the planes that were coming in as they're trying to battle the storm, get around it, be rerouted from Atlanta to Charlotte or Greensboro to Charlotte, so on and so forth. Um, and every now and then you'd catch some funny conversations between the pilots in command and the uh, <laughs> traffic controller because it's a stressful time. And people can get a bit snarky and have a little bit of a short fuse, if you will. So depending on the time of day and depending on your region, you can get some pretty interesting conversations. And if there wasn't anything necessarily going on there in the south, I use this app in companion with my storm chaser, storm radar app. Mm -hmm. I'd look to see where the storms are and then find the different uh, airports that were nearby, put those into live ATC. Typically, I would listen to the ground crew or the tower, and that's where all of the fun conversations were. Uh, it, it's they try to be professional and, and and you know keep everybody safe, but every now and then, especially during those um, tense times, it's it was fascinating to hear what those pilots in air traffic controls were saying to one another. And this app is free. You can also couple it with another app that was reviewed previously here on the show. It's called Flight Radar. Um, as they're calling the, the planes in, if, you, if you're if you near the airport like I was, you could see the, the planes coming over your head and pull up that app and just sort of follow them along while they're in conversation. It was pretty cool. Love it. I love it. Live ATC, live air traffic. Control. Right on. Right on. Try Good it day. out with it. Try it out with airports like JFK and, you know, up in New York or um, Atlanta, SFO, all of the busy ones. It's it's going to be a lot of activity there. I would turn on ATC just as, as white noise at time while I'm working. Mm. You know, it's just it's it's because sometimes you hear something out of the blue, you know. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Live ATC. Check that out. All right. Wonder, so we have. Sorry. Four. Don't be sorry. You can get excited about these apps. Four well, great I apps. Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask Ant very quickly if it would if it would be able to catch because I live next to an Air Force base and they always fly over us, but you can't find those on flight radar. So I wonder if that would but probably nope. not. Ooh. Nope. You Maybe. well no, they do have to go through ATC because it's still traffic yeah. up there. Traffic um, but no, you're not yeah. gonna see them on flight radar, no. No, yeah. Anyway, just a side note. <laughs> <laughs>